the incredible efficiency of the Tesla Model 3. August 26, 2022. I'm getting some very efficient drives in my Tesla Model 3 RWD with LFP batteries. Let's see how this is happening. I've had my Model 3 RWD with LFP batteries for five days now. It has been a joy to drive and also to figure out how the energy and efficiency works. I'll go over that now. Electric cars are different than gas cars in that you don't have an engine you pour fuel into a fuel tank for it to use. Instead, for my Tesla, there is a giant battery farm on the bottom of the car that acts as the power source. There's also a smaller secondary battery as well. The energy used is on a part of the Tesla center console called energy. In this view, you can see the amount of watt hours per mile your car is using and the expected range for the miles driven. In the case of this picture, mine is 327 miles of range, which is well above the 272 EPA range stated for the Model 3 RWD with LFP batteries. I also got a stunning 160 watt hours per mile. This drive of mine was for 30 miles and included some freeway driving, some city driving, and some parking lot driving. I went to my condo, to the gym, and to do a hike. All in all, I'm very pleased with the energy efficiency of this drive. Here are the ways to get the most energy efficiency from your Tesla vehicle that I've picked up over the last five days. First, look at the bar at the top left of the screen. It goes from green to the left and from red to the right based on how much energy you are using or gaining. When you let your foot off the accelerator, the car will slow down and regenerative brake automatically. This will put energy back into the battery. This will show a green bar on the left. That's the first thing to master is always slowing down without using the brake and maximizing the regenerative braking. Learn to gauge when to let off the accelerator. At 30 miles per hour, you need less distance to completely slow down. When getting off the freeway, you'll need a little more runway. Learn these distances and maximize them while paying attention to other cars around you. A few times, I've still had to use the brake because I didn't judge the distance correctly. Secondly, I don't run any air conditioning. Even though it's the summer, I usually drive alone and I can handle the heat. I'm also thinking about tinting my windows though, to avoid the heat in the car, as well as rolling the windows down. Tinted windows will also help the Tesla from kicking off overheating protection at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Third, avoid bursts of acceleration, even though they are very fun and you can impress people with them. Even in my Model 3 RWD, I can still get a nice burst of speed, but the energy consumption is much higher, at 600 watt hours per mile or more during the burst of speed. Learn to accelerate and watch the bar on the center screen and try to have as small as a red bar on the right as you can. In summary, learn to drive carefully, manage your acceleration, don't run the air conditioning if you can help it. And let regenerative braking slow you down instead of using the brake. Then use the energy screen to see how you are doing. That's it. What do you think of this energy efficiency? Do you have a Tesla? Can you beat 160 watt hours per mile over 30 miles? Source reposted and summarized from Jeremy Johnson at Talk News. My take a good electric vehicle has to be efficient. And Teslas have the best EVs, by far. Tesla to deliver record-breaking batch of 4,000 cars to Israel. August 26, 2022, Tesla will deliver a record-breaking 4,000 vehicles to Israel. The batch mainly consists of Model 3s, as well as some Model E's. Tesla is preparing a huge batch of cars for delivery to Israel. Local publication The Globes reported. According to information from them, the batch will consist of 4.000 cars, which is an absolute record for the country. Delivery should occur before the end of this year, although it is not specified exactly in Q3 or Q4. This volume is due to the fact that Israel has planned to increase the tax on the purchase of electric vehicles. Starting from January 2023, this, in turn, has led to a significant increase in demand, especially from the institutional and leasing markets. It is reported that most of the 4,000 vehicles will be Model 3s produced at Giga Shanghai. The factory in China is Tesla's export hub. So all export markets around the world, except North America, receive the made-in-China cars. In addition, a relatively smaller number of Model E is also scheduled to be delivered. The batch of cars is so large that it will arrive on at least two ships. Thanks to Tesla's very strong delivery rate, EV sales in Israel are predicted to grow by 70% in 2022. 
Tesla also increased the price of Model Y now Model Y long range, which costs $100,800 USD, is now about $2,740 more. About $103,540. Model Y performance has risen in price by about $3,045 to about $113,290. The new price includes a tow hitch, which was previously a more expensive accessory. So some owners may not terribly mind the price increase. Both Model Y variants that will be delivered to Israel are manufactured at Giga Berlin. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take is the word gets out you will see more and more headlines like this. Tesla Powerwall owners can sell stored electricity back to the grid. August 26, 2022. Beyond Tesla's electric vehicles. The company has also been delving into the clean energy world for quite some time. Tesla Powerwalls let owners store energy generated from solar panels. And a new program even lets owners sell this energy back to the electrical grid. Owners of Tesla's Powerwall can now resell their stored electricity back to California's grid as part of the virtual power plant program. Benzinger reports. The program is being piloted right now in partnership with PG&E for Northern Californians. And it recently expanded south in a partnership with Southern California Edison. The program was initially launched last year in California. And the first emergency response event occurred just weeks ago. During the event, over 2.600 homes in Northern California contributed electricity to the grid. While Southern California saw over 250 homes contributing. The result of these thousands of Tesla Powerwalls essentially creates a giant distributed battery that can be drawn upon in times of peak power usage or high demand during heat waves or other extreme weather events. In the recent event, the energy contributions eased the strain on California's grid during a period of high demand, which could also feasibly reduce the need for fossil fuel burning plants down the road. The program is voluntary, but it also rewards contributing homes with credits toward their utility providers. Before the recent event, Tesla contacted Powerwall owners to give them a chance to opt out. Owners were also allowed to maintain how much the Powerwall discharges, so they can keep however much they want for their own backup reserves. The virtual power plant program pays participants at a rate of $2 per kilowatt hour of energy given back to the grid, which means Powerwall owners could end up with between $10 and $60 per event. With Tesla's EVs entering markets worldwide, the renewable energy program also begs the question of how the world can power the next generation of cars. The US government is working on a public EV charging infrastructure. And even Tesla's superchargers are expanding rapidly. Though most are still powered with coal, for now. Tesla is also working with utility providers in Texas to set up a similar virtual power plant program in the state. Additionally, Tesla has virtual power plant programs running in South Australia and Victoria both with similar ideas to the California pilot. It's not yet clear where Tesla will launch its virtual power plant program next. But with the world facing increasingly frequent climate events putting pressure on the electrical grid, the deployment of the program can't come soon enough. Source reposted and summarized from Peter McGuthrie at Evanex. My take up until now. This part of Tesla's business has been ignored. Maybe it should be given a little more respect. Ron Barron expects Tesla to become world's largest company. August 26, 2022. A longtime Tesla bull who has been investing in the company for eight years now. Ron Barron sees a 3x to 5x return on Tesla over the next 10 years. He expects the manufacturer to become the largest company in the world and will only compete with Elon Musk's other company, SpaceX. The legendary Ron Barron has been an investor in Elon Musk's companies. SpaceX and Tesla. For many years, he says he admires the fact that Elon Musk built all his companies without advertising. While his competitors spend millions of dollars on it. Barron joined CNBC on Thursday, where he said he increased his investment in SpaceX by adding $100 million to his stake in the company. Barron also spoke about his expectations of Tesla, in which he has a solid stake. He believes that in the future the company can achieve even greater growth and even become the largest company in the world. The investor said that for eight years he invested in Tesla. He already earned about $6 to $7 billion, with an initial investment of $380 million. But over the next 10 years, he expects to be able to earn 3x to 5x his money again. 
Barron believes Tesla will become the largest company in the world during this period. And face competition from SpaceX. Ten years after that. I love Tesla. We've been investing in Tesla for eight years now. Since 2014. We've made about 20 times our money. Made about six or seven billion dollars on a 380 million dollars investment. I think we're gonna make 3x to 5x our money again over the next 10 years. I am so excited. I think in the next 10 years. Tesla is going to be the largest company in the world. And in the 10 years after that. It will be challenged by SpaceX. The investor said. Barron once again highlighted Musk's brilliant strategy to generate profits by using factories wisely. He said that each new Tesla factory costs about $7 billion. And has a high production capacity of 1 million cars a year. The high gross margin per car milks the opportunity to earn $15 billion a year from each factory. What he, Elon Musk, is doing that other people can't possibly do is that he is investing now in a plant that makes a million cars per year. About $7 billion. Every time he puts up one of these million car plants. It's costing him $7 billion. When they have that plant that produces a million cars. The gross profit per car is about $15,000. They're selling something for $50,000 but it costs them $35. That means that every time he spends $7 billion. He's making $15 billion a year. The investor said. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take it's only a matter of when this is going to happen. Not if.